<coughs> okay, let's take a bit of a walk around this beast. It's a 1989 stroke 1990 Land Rover 110 County Station Wagon 11 seater. Um, genuine County Station Wagon, but this one's fitted with uh, a 6.2 litre V8 GMC diesel engine and automatic transmission, which um, makes it, uh, well, makes it go very well, in fact. A um, lot of fun. A lot of fun. Also fitted with um, full length uh, roof rack with an extra spare wheel up there. It's got Alpine lights being a county. It's got tinted glass. Um, it's fitted with, is it a matching set? No, got good use on the back and Avon's on the front. Um, 750R16 tyres on uh, Weller eight spoke rims in black. Um, it's got bonnet end caps on it. It's got front A bar. Um, obviously, the front valance has been modified for what looks like the transmission cooler for the um, uh, automatic. Um, what else? Oh, some birds. It's got the mirror. Fine shot. <laughs> um, mud flaps. Adjustable height tow pack with electric pin. Um, that's about it. Right, let's go around and pick out some good points and bad points. It looks very smart. Has had some paint work. Um, it's obviously had a fair bit of electrolytic reaction in this time as they do, and that's been uh, been covered over. Um, but overall, so it looks uh, looks looks quite smart really. Around the front end. All looks pretty straightforward and clean around here. Possibly not sure what's happened there because that's supposed to be the, the, um, the headlight cover on this is a separate panel and for some reason it looks like it's been filled just very slightly there. I don't know what that's all about at all. Um, but the bonnet itself, one or two marks and chips on it as you'd expect, but the paint around the front end considering it's uh, what 20, uh, 21 years old now doesn't look too bad at all. Um, slight dent in the front of the near side front wing just here. And a couple of marks, which in fact will come off. We haven't actually polished this one yet, so it's still um, there's still probably a few sort of dirty marks due to come off of it. Uh, looking down the near side, a bit ripply in the doors, but it's not too bad really. Um, up here, roof is fine, screen is fine. Around the scuttle here, it's very very good indeed. Uh, if it has had the replacement panels put in, they've been um, quite well fitted. In fact, I think they must have done. Yeah. Um, but well done actually there's a tiny bubble of rust just coming through just there but no more than that on the near side quite good really a post is good there's some um, the bottom of the of the near side door has been um has been painted over uh, obviously uh, presumably to hide the electrolytic reaction and um, the same up here actually on the on the uh, vertical part of the the near side front door let's open up the interior inside wise it's really quite civilized it's fitted with range rover front seats Range Rover Classic front seats. It's still got the original uh, centre carpet. It would have done with being um, a, uh, a county. Gear shift levers in the middle there. That looks like it's ex Range Rover to me. It's got the full headlining in it. Um, and it is effectively an 11 seater. Two in the front, three in the middle, and one, two, and six in the back. Up to six in the back. Dash is all here. I can't get any, any uh, joy out of the stereo. I don't know if that's working or not. I can't um, seem to get any life out of it. I've done about 160, 170 miles in this and I couldn't make it work at all. Um, let's just go back to around here. It's got these mats fitted in the front here. Um, looks like it may well have had new floors at some point, but the, uh, the mats are fitted in there. Um, passenger door, probably it's been repaired at some point, but it um, feels quite solid along the bottom there on the near side front door. B and C posts are all good. Um, in the back here, it's all sort of a nice, um, nice brushwood seating in here. It's all nice. Uh, the I suspect once again the the base of the the near side rear door has had some uh, um, filling or replacement or something. It all feels pretty solid though under there. Just the card is a bit loose down here. But this is all pretty good round here. Oh, I see, in fact, the near side rear wheel is a different one. It's just an ordinary black one rather than a Weller 8 spoke. Um, same size, 750-16s, but, um, um, but it's an original steel one rather than a, uh, an 8 spoke one. Sorry about that. Um, near side rear wing is obviously signs of a bit of uh, filler or something just down here in the bottom corner of the near side rear wing. And the, uh, the galvanising is slightly twisted just there on the corner. Um, Got your big uh, ladder on here, 
all around the cross member and stuff, it all looks quite uh, clean and tidy around there. Possibly a replacement cross member at some point. In the uh, back here, very, very nice. We've got a stain on the back of the, the offside backrest just up here. Um, large stain on there, but the, uh, the, the seat bases are new. We've just got those in. Um, it's got your seat belts in. I don't think there's seat belts for every seat, but there's certainly a couple of seat belts, at least one seat belt on, um, on each bench seat. Headlining's a bit grubby and it's uh, sagged a bit as they always do in these, but um, it's all there and all the proper county trim around the windows is all there as well. Tailgate. Frame is a bit scabby on its bottom edge. It's not too bad. Just a bit scabby on the end here. Small hole just in the bottom of the frame just there. Externally it's had the electrolytic reaction painted over. Um, looking down the offside, there's obviously, it's had a big, uh, big crinkle here which someone's beaten out really. In the back of the offside rear wing it's a bit sort of crinkled and dented. It's obviously backed into something or something's happened here. But um, they've not done the best job or at least it's uh, um, it's not all sort of dented in. It's obviously been pulled out and stuff at some point, but um, looks like a bit of a, uh, a seascape on there. I'll let my phone keep ringing. Um, offside rear wing aside from that, uh, looks like the paint up here is all the original stuff. Um, the arch has been painted. We've got paint around the, uh, the offside rear door has been painted. The, the electricity rack has been painted over as it has on the bottom of the door. Um, we may well find if we, actually the frame feels quite good on that one, not bad at all, that all feels nice, that all feels good, uh, I suspect it looks like it's had some work up here on the back of the frame. Um, driver's door, once again the lower edge has been, um, the electrolytic reaction has been painted over as it has up here, but the door itself, the frame feels very good actually, yeah that feels fine. Um, Wear on the, the usual piping wear on the edge of the driver's seat, but no more than that. It's got a Range Rover steering wheel on it. Uh, it hasn't got the, um, the steering column shroud. Where, I don't know if, if, if you fit the, the Range Rover wheel, if you can't fit the shroud or not, I don't know, but um, it hasn't got a steering column shroud on it. These two switches up here are for um, auxiliary fans. Um, door cards are all there, all good. Carrying on round here. Again, the scuttle panel on the uh, driver's side has obviously had the replacement put on there, but um, very well done, actually, by the look of it. I like the look of that quite good. A post is all good, driver's wing is all good. Yeah. Um, oh, aerial snapped. Um, but you haven't got a stereo anyway. Doesn't really matter. Um, that's about it. Oh, so I've got a sunroof, although it's underneath that spare wheel so you can't see a lot of it. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353. Let's open the bonnet actually. Or, um, no, I'll have to it inside. Or 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk if you want any more info on this rather interesting and rather fun GMC uh, 6.2 litre engine equipped um, Land Rover 110 County Station Wagon. There's the motor. Uh, allegedly it was serviced just before we got it. The oil looks very clean in it, certainly, but we can't, um, we can't confirm it. But um, the oil does look very clean in it. But a uh, hell of a lot of fun, one way or another. And... Thank you.